Now, your weather alert forecast. Good evening, I'm 3 News Now. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppel with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. After light snow showers pretty much on and off throughout the day, dry air really prevented any accumulating snow across our area. Snow is coming to an end, drier conditions moving in. Skies will slowly start clearing out, but we'll probably have to wait until after about 10 o'clock in the evening. Northwest winds will also start backing off, and we're expecting an extremely cold start to the morning. On Halloween morning, we are looking at morning lows in the low 20s. This will be the coldest air that we've seen so far this fall season, not only in the morning, but again, overall temperature. We're expecting plenty of sunshine though, so as we head to the afternoon, we'll jump back up into the low 40s, but still unseasonably cold for this time of the year. We should be around 58 degrees for afternoon high temperature, so yeah, this is a huge drop. And we're finally going to start to see some gradual warming coming our way here, but we have to wait a couple more days. So after Thursday, don't forget about the fact that once the sun goes down, yeah, it's going to start cooling off quite a bit. We'll see temperatures falling into the 30s. So you're going to have to layer your kiddos up as they head out to do some trick or treating. It will be a dry evening though. Friday, a few more clouds around 44 degrees, mainly a dry day for us. Sunshine returns on Saturday as we get into the weekend, 46 in the afternoon and on Sunday we'll jump it up to about 53 degrees. Also time change, daylight savings time coming to an end Sunday morning at 2 a.m. So don't forget to set your clocks back an hour before you go to bed Saturday night and gain that extra hour of sleep. Slight change we could see a couple of showers on Monday and then another strong front passing through drops us back into the low 40s.